everybody, my name is Alex with Sigala Designs. Thanks for tuning in for a brand new video. Now, this video is gonna be pretty special for all our C8 Stingray owners and for all our supporters and previous customers that have ordered through us or have heard of us and actually have supported us in any way, whether that's through ordering parts from us, whether that's through the videos showing your support and well, because today is gonna be the beginning of let's just say a huge change to the stingray platform and that is because this video we are going to be revealing yet another product to you guys that will be coming out to our website but as of right now will be available for pre-order now the product we are talking about is actually a front bumper z06 conversion available for the Stingray Corvette. Now, although yes, in this video, we will be installing the front bumper. I'm gonna be the first to tell you guys, we are also coming out with a rear bumper conversion as well. Yes, a Z06 rear bumper conversion for the Stingray. Not only are we just working on the front bumper and rear bumper, but let's just say we have already started production on the front fenders and the rear quarter panels also in a Z06 conversion style, yes. So soon enough for all those customers that have a Stingray that maybe didn't want the high performance of a Z06, but like the Z06 look, this is a perfect opportunity for all of you Stingray owners to jump on and pre-order through us uh, the front bumper to start and soon enough, yes, the rear bumper, the fenders, and the quarter panels as well. Now, although the front bumper will be available for pre-order right now, let's just say you're gonna wanna go ahead and lock in your order sooner rather than later, solely because in an instant, our production times can go from two to three weeks all the way up to six to eight weeks in a matter of a day. That's why some of you customers have called and been like, hey, the production time said two to three weeks when I checked, but now you're saying six to eight. And that is because if you wait until after you call, until after you decide on whether you wanna go through with your order, in that time frame in the middle, it can jump just that much, especially when we get so overwhelmed with orders that it's better to just go ahead, jump right in, place your order, lock it in. That way you know that what your production time will be there on the website as soon as you see it. So without further ado, let's go ahead, get the car up and ready to be actually converted into a Z06 look in the front end. So let's go ahead, we're gonna show you guys how to remove the bumper and how to do all that so you can do the swap yourselves. And also we're gonna go ahead and show you guys what parts come with the front bumper when you actually order it and some different finish options that you'll be able to uh, go for on our website when you wanna place your pre-order. And let's just say there will be a little bit of carbon fiber involved, yes. So we will have the option of some of the pieces available in carbon fiber or the standard painted carbon flash. Now the first thing that we're gonna wanna go ahead and start off with right off the bat is actually removing all the plastics underneath your front trunk to actually reveal those top T15 bolts holding in the upper part of the front bumper. And then once we get all that removed, then we're gonna go ahead, slide under the car and show you exactly what needs to be removed to actually take off that whole under tray as that will be swapped over when we actually swap it with the new Z06 conversion front bumper. Now all these bolts up front are only T15s. So with a bit and a power tool, or if you don't have a power tool, any screwdriver or anything with a T15 bit will can be used to remove these front bolts. Next, let's go ahead and slide the jack under the car so we can actually lift it up to have access to all the bolts actually on the underside. I know looking under here, 
when you guys are doing the install, you guys might see a ton of bolts and not know which ones to remove. So we're gonna go ahead and start by removing all the ones holding in the front lip. So yes, your front lip does need to come off, whether that's the three piece or the 5EM style, it does need to be completely removed and that'll loosen the front part of the under tray to at least give you a start. Now, when removing this amount of bolts, it's definitely recommended to have a bolt organizer because man, let's just say putting it back together and trying to look through a pile of bolts here, a pile of bolts there is just not efficient whatsoever. So next, now that you got the front lip removed, we're gonna wanna go ahead and start removing all the T15s that you guys see that look like they're holding in the uh, under tray. So we have some over here on the side, we have some in this like corner piece. So let's go ahead and remove them. It's a bunch of T15s and seven millimeter bolts. There we go. So with those three pieces now removed, now we can go ahead and work on the side of the bumper to actually loosen it up and finally be able to pop it off. So now once you got the car lifted up like this, you're gonna actually see four T15 bolts holding in the inner side of the wheel well. And once you get those removed, you'll actually be able to pull it down and you'll have access to that one bolt that we mentioned that is holding the front bumper to the actual fender. Now, once you get that removed, you'll be able to pop it off of its uh, kind of like bracket and then you'll see a connector. Now, if your car does have the front sensors and front cameras, you will have a black and red connector that you're gonna wanna go ahead and disconnect to make sure that once the bumper comes off, you don't rip it out. So it's two connectors that are slid into a push clip on the actual inner bracket of the car. So once you get that removed, then on the other side, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and do the same thing. So on the other side, you'll have one connector instead of two as on this side is. Now, once you're at this step where you have both connectors disconnected to make sure you don't pull any wires when actually removing the bumper, then you're ready to start separating the four brackets that actually hold the bumper to the fender. So in this case, let's go ahead and start with the upper part of the bumper. You're literally just gonna wanna, with both hands, kind of push down on the fender. Now remember, the fender is still bolted. It's the bumper that you're actually gonna wanna pull up and it'll actually pop out of place. So there's no bolts holding the bumper to the fender. It's literally just a bracket. Now, with this, you wanna make sure that you followed the steps. You removed all bolts on top. So let's go ahead, pull up, and just like that, you can see it very easily just comes out of its place. So let's just go ahead and do the same with the other side. There we go, there's the other side. And then like we did when we disconnected the main connectors, you're literally just gonna, again, push on the fender and pull on the bumper. So once that bolt is removed, you gotta make sure that bolt is removed. So just like that, that easy. So you're pushing on the fender and pulling on the bumper. There we go. You're gonna wanna start with one side at a time. So the way I like to do it to actually remove it easily is lift up on the headlight uh, to make sure it doesn't hit it and then out on the outer side of the bumper and kind of just slide it out of place. So we're gonna wanna go ahead and do this slowly. Go out on the bumper and then just like that, you have your front bumper completely off your car. Now you guys can see how, yes, it is able to be done with one person and it's really not that hard if you follow the correct steps. Now that the bumper's off the car comes the fun part where we can completely put this to the side. Don't throw it, okay? Don't throw it to the side, but just set it aside and then we'll be able to bring over the new Z06 conversion bumper. You guys haven't seen it up until this point, but the way you guys are first gonna see it is gonna be completely torn apart. Yes, so every piece on its own, and we're gonna show you how to put it together and kind of go more into detail on exactly what options you will have available as the customer when purchasing your new conversion Z06 front bumper for your Stingray Corvette. Now, before you get too excited and too ahead of yourself, where you just wanna slap the new bumper on, let's just say you think you know all the steps, you think you're done. Well, there is two things. One is optional, one is required when doing this install. So 
First thing that is required is actually changing out this front bash like plastic piece. And that is because with the OEM one that comes with the stock bumper, it actually sticks out too much. So it will obstruct when actually trying to install the new conversion bumper. And all this will be supplied when you actually purchase. So here we have the two front like bash plastic pieces. And here in the front, we have the OEM one. Now, straight off the bat, you can tell how this area right here is much thicker than here, along with the space that actually cups this part. Actually, you can see how much of a gap is from the part where it cups to the very end and then over here you can see how the part where it cups to the very end is much thinner so you may think you know what it's maybe not that big of a deal it is it will obstruct if you try leaving the stock one on and that is why we provide the new one to actually fit perfectly and have zero fitment issues and there we have it. It still looks and installs like OEM. And the bottom actually has cutouts for the impact sensor. So carefully just simply pop it back into place. And there we go. Like nothing ever happened. There you guys can see how sturdy it is. And the one optional removal item that I guess you can do is this center actual bar that holds that very center point of the front lip. So this is something that can be removed and won't affect anything. Now on the bottom, you can see it actually does have a threaded push clip. And the only thing you'll really be losing is just that one bolt directly in the center, which won't affect anything. Now, when we install the Z06 conversion bumper, you will actually see that all this is actually open now that it doesn't have that center part where like the, um, the Stingray has that whole front grill kind of covered up. This new conversion bumper will actually open up the front end. If you don't wanna see just the bar in the middle of your bumper looking through your vents, this is something that can be removed and won't affect anything. Well, the moment you guys have been waiting for is to see the actual bumper. Now, I know right now it may not look like much, and that is because every single grill molding, including the front lip, is completely taken off of the bumper. And that is because we are going to be doing a full walkthrough of how to install everything. So here you guys can tell, yes, this is a different bumper than OEM. If you have seen, or by now you probably should know kind of what the front end of a Z06 looks like. Here you guys can already tell the second I showed you guys the bumper, the notable differences between the two. Now I know I continue to delay the install, but I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys all the different pieces up close. So here we have the mesh. Here we have the actual uh, part of the bumper where the camera actually pokes through on both sides. In the middle, we have the main center grill. Here we have the like the Z06 uh, license plate uh, cover that actually goes across the middle of the front and center grill. So here we have the other side. Here we have the little covers that actually um, cover the threads for the actual tow hook. So I know it has one on both sides, uh, but here you guys can see this is the one that would be removed to actually expose the tow hook thread on the actual car itself. So here we have the parts laid out and without further ado, let's go ahead and show you guys the front splitter. Now, last but definitely and most certainly not least because we still have one more surprise. Here is the three piece slip similar to as on the Z06, but modified to fit the under tray and fit the new conversion bumper of the Stingray. So here you guys can see how it differs and well, certain tabs and certain clips will be going into those different holes to actually show you guys how the under tray will still be utilized the same and still be able to serve its purpose. So that goes the same for both the side pieces and the center piece and how they get put together. We're about to show you right now so you guys see exactly how everything gets put on the bumper and how everything is set to fit perfectly with each other. Now the front part of the lip actually has these little grooves that kind of stick out that actually interlock 
with the other part of the lip. So once they're set into place, then you're gonna use the provided screws to actually tighten them together. There we go. So once it's tight, you're gonna wanna stop there. There we go. And it's put together as one piece. Now that the three piece lip is all put together, even the side of the lip is like the Z06 style. Honestly, it looks absolutely amazing. So I can't wait to see it on the bumper. It's gonna literally look like a Z06. So here we still have the same three piece design. And I know in the beginning, we were talking about how we were gonna have different carbon fiber options. And well, this right here is one of them. Yes, with the kit, we will be sending out if chosen the option to a carbon fiber splitter so yes this will be standard in carbon flash but you can always choose the option to upgrade and go with carbon fiber so let us know what you guys think of the product so far but without further ado let's finally get to putting this front bumper together now as mentioned let's go ahead and get started with the front grille so we're gonna go ahead and make sure that all the guides get slid into their place to actually fit the way it should so this is the part where it may be a little more on the tedious end but little by little if you just guide in the tabs it should be able to start clipping into place as you see here Go ahead, flip it upside down to start doing the bottom ones. And just like with the Z06 and how it clips into place, there you guys can see it starting to get its shape and actually hold on to the upper part of the bumper. As we're going through with the install of all the grill pieces inside the bumper itself, here you guys can see all the bolts, all the clips, everything is starting to come along very nicely. So right now in a little bit, we're gonna get ready to go ahead and flip the bumper around to show you guys the finished product. But first I wanna go ahead and install the lip before showing you guys so you guys see the full reveal all in one. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the lip installed, but basically it installs the same way as the Z06 would, where all those tabs tabs kind of similar to these it's the same process as making sure all the tabs are lined up and then with push clips it's just all along the bumper that actually hold it into place so i'm going to go ahead flip it around get the lip installed and then we'll be ready to show you guys the final reveal you know guys something that i love about making youtube videos is the fact that i get to see it before anyone has so below me i literally have the bumper completely put together and let me tell you guys it looks um it looks identical as the z06 bumper and i am so excited to finally be able to show you we have both the z06 bumper right here in front of me and then we have the stock c8 bumper next to it so you guys can get a side by side comparison to see exactly how it differs although knowing the stingray from the Z06, I think it's pretty obvious to know the differences right away. But before this guys, I wanna say, if you have any questions or wanna know more information about the bumper, make sure to go to our website. We will have the link in the description that will take you directly to this product to actually be able to place your pre-order. And we wanna let you guys know that all the bumpers that we will be selling will be available in OEM colors. Now, once we get it put on, you guys will see how closely matched the paint is. Now, although this bumper is plastic and the actual car itself is fiberglass, there can be a slight difference, but we'll let you be the judge to see exactly how closely we got it to match once it's actually put up side by side with the fenders so as always guys i mean we use the best products available out there and you know what for all of you to know just if you're in the automotive industry and you know about the different materials we use only the best clear on all of our products which we won't be afraid to mention it to you we do use ppg 2021 and for all of you that know the brand, you guys know it is the best out there available. So without further ado, let's go ahead and show you guys the two bumpers side by side and well, let us know what you guys think.
Well guys, it's official. The Z06 conversion from bumper for the C8 Corvette Stingray is right in front of me. Now, to see it all together, there is only one thing left to do and that is the harness. So yes, the harness will be a direct swap. And guys, I mean, just seeing how the bumper looks now, I know you guys can only imagine what it's gonna look like on the car dropped on all four wheels. And I think that is what there is to do next. So real quick off camera, I'm just gonna go ahead put the whole harness back on. So basically take it off the OEM bumper and put it on this one. It has all the original guides uh, for all the push clips and it's literally a direct swap. So from one side, as you go along, kind of just take pictures, keep a mental note of exactly where each clip goes and soon enough, you will have the bumper ready to be put back on and it's gonna look as if nothing changed except now you have a full conversion from bumper. So let's go ahead and get the harness on and we'll go ahead and update you guys then. So here, now that we have the harness all put on, here even on the button uh, to open the front trunk, it's all located in the same general area. And even this one is pushed up more towards the front of the bumper, just like on the Z06. Now back here, we have all the cameras connected. Everything fit perfect. Even down here, we have the ambient uh, air temperature sensor. And then over here, we have the other main connector. So here you guys can see exactly how everything buttons up. And well, now it's time to finally be able to put it on the car. The moment you guys have been waiting for, seeing the Z06 conversion bumper finally on the car. Let's go ahead, bring it over and install it. And now this is something that can be done with one person, but two people is recommended. I'm gonna go ahead and knock it out by myself. And well, let's see how it goes. Now on this one, I think I will definitely let the car speak for itself. Let us know what you guys think. Now I know this isn't the first Z06 conversion bumper for the Stingray. And let's just say, although this is a product that is shipped overseas, it is still OEM quality. This is unlike any of the other competitors that have conversion bumpers out there. This is its own design. This is a different type of bumper. Although it does the same thing, this one we are proud to say fits absolutely perfect. And well, we can't wait to show you guys the finished product. That is how the front end looks. Now, remember earlier in the video, I mentioned a bar that we removed from the center. And that is because here in the middle, you guys can see how it is now open. So if you were to leave that bar, you would see a black bar just going right down the center of this open mesh area. And that's something we didn't want. Now with this new Z06 conversion bumper, there is an opening now on the front. So that means that you will be able to see part of your under tray, but honestly, it's not a big deal. And well, here up front, you guys have the cameras exactly like OEM and how they would fit. Here you guys can see the new design of how the under tray actually bolts to that back part of the lip. Here is that center bolt that we are now missing because we removed that bracket, but honestly, everything else is still being held on, so it makes no difference. So here you guys can see that on the back part is actually where the under tray slides into the front lip to actually be able to thread into the under tray and actually hold it together and almost like sandwich it to make it, give it that tight fit. So here's how the underside looks of your C8 now with that new conversion bumper to kind of show you guys exactly what to expect when installing it. So let's go ahead, drop it on the floor and show you guys it on all four wheels rather than up in the air. This partnered up with our hood and our Z06 style wing honestly fit the car perfect. Soon enough, you won't even be able to tell the difference between a Z06 and a Stingray. <laughs> I'm just playing. But 
as always guys, we do also offer the Z06 style rockers, which will be going on the car next. And along with, as we mentioned earlier in the video, yes, we are coming out with a Z06 conversion rear bumper for all of our Stingray owners. Yes, I know you guys are probably very excited to see what we're gonna do with that. If this bumper is something that you guys wanna see in person, we will be taking, I don't know about the whole car, okay? We've tried cross country to Tennessee to Pigeon Forge in the Corvette. And let me tell you, the Corvette is definitely not a car you wanna take on a road trip. After a while, it gets uncomfortable. It gets, uh, it just gets annoying to drive, especially with how much of a sports car it is. It is very stiff and let's just say for long roads and long drives like that, it, it's not meant for that guys. It's meant to go fast, take turns. It's meant for basically for high performance, not just to go straight for who knows how many, what like 20, I wanna say what, 2,200 miles away, okay? Yeah, it's not meant for that. Unless you wanna come with us and you wanna be the one to drive the Corvette cross country, hey, hit us up. The bumper itself will be going to Carlisle to actually be presented there. And who knows, we might even slap the front bumper on a customer's car to actually showcase it and how it looks there at the show in its entirety rather than just seeing the bumper. But as you guys see it here first, let's go ahead and show you guys more into detail and give you guys a proper run through of exactly how the conversion bumper turned out. So without further ado, go ahead, sit back, relax, grab your popcorn and enjoy this edit. Just when you thought we were gonna stop there. No, we took it one step above and beyond. And well, what's a Z06 without dive planes? Yes, you heard that correct. We do also have dive planes available for the conversion bumper. And instead of me talking about it, let's go ahead and show you guys. Now here we have the set of dive planes that is compatible with the Z06 conversion bumper. And well, let's just say this one mounts a little differently. So instead of on the actual Z06, how it's held in by clips that you need to dremel out holes, this one actually has bolts. So it's four bolts that will actually hold the dive plane to the actual bumper itself. So that is the only difference with how these mount compared to the actual Z06 dive planes. Let's go ahead and mock them up for now, just to show you guys exactly what they would look like. Well, as we mentioned, the dive planes compatible with the Z06 conversion bumper. Look at how that front end looks. <laughs> guys, soon enough, you literally won't be able to tell the difference between a Z06 and a Stingray, other than a few notable things if you truly pay close attention. But here you guys can see exactly how each dive plane looks on the actual bumper itself. Now mind you, these are not bolted in, so we didn't go ahead and make the holes yet just because for the show we want to have it like this and just have the dive planes on display. But basically here we have how they look. Now, right now they're just being held on by double-sided tape, so they're not mocked up exactly how they would be, but here it gives you a general idea of how the front end of your Stingray will look if you opt for the dive planes as well with this kit. Now, the dive planes is another piece that we will be offering in carbon, along with a few of the center grill moldings here and there. But the two biggest things will be the front splitter and the dive planes available in carbon fiber if you choose to go with that option. I know we continue to keep going one step above but this final thing is more of something that we're planning on doing here for not only this bumper but maybe for the stock c8 and the z06 as well where we want to add some screens here in the front to cover like the actual radiator just because of 
how badly damaged they can get from daily use from long trips we learned the hard way going to pigeon forge as we mentioned where we got so many bugs so many rock chips inside those uh radiators to actually hit it that when you guys saw the bumper off you guys might have been able to tell exactly how beat up those radiators were let's say you want to do this uh early in the beginning of getting your c8 uh, where you want to do the conversion bumper, the uh, the screens, the Z06 style rockers, the hood, the Z06 style wing. I mean, we have so many options for the Stingray where you can start making your C8 look like a Z06. Now, remember guys, yes, we are making a rear bumper Z06 conversion for the Stingray, but our new smoke tail lights will also work with that bumper. So can you imagine for all those that haven't seen the video yet of where we introduced the new product and showed you guys exactly how our new smoked tail lights looked now on this car uh, actually you guys are seeing the footage on the screen now of exactly how it came out and with a full conversion and with those tail lights it will completely change the look of your stingray now those tail lights are available for both the stingray and the z06 so if that is something you are interested in as always we will have all the links in the description for you to go check out or go to our website sigaladesigns.com where you can go ahead and see the full list of products we have for many makes and models of cars but mostly now recently for the stingray and z06 the most recent times, yes, we have had many customers say that the production time is taking longer than expected. And well, as we mentioned guys, that sometimes we can get surges of orders all at once and that can push back production times from one day to the next or even within a few hours of a new product such as this being released on the website and being released to the public. We thank you guys so much. If you aren't already, make sure to go down and subscribe. It's Alex with Sigala Designs, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.